Good morning. Thank you for joining us and a warm welcome. Sage here and you're watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. And this is the Global Markets Roundup show. And in today's show, we'll explore the latest updates from the equity, currency and commodity markets from across the globe. I have the US, European and the Asian market reports to share with you. And apart from these, I will also share some of the latest updates from the Australian market and we'll discuss how the market's going to look like today. So stay tuned with me till the end. And for now, let's just take a look at the US market's performance from yesterday's closing. The benchmark US indices traded near flat on Monday, August 17th, after the, uh, the latest Chinese economic data showed the country's recovery rate in July was way below economists' expectations. And the grim outlook triggered investors' concerns about a decline in the global economic growth. The S&P 500 was up 0.26%, the Dow Jones rose 0.31% and the Nasdaq Composite fell 0.20%. The small cap Russell 2000 was down 0.89%. The pace of China's factory output and retail sales dropped noticeably in July amid the fresh Delta virus concerns, according to the country's National Bureau of Statistics. The US markets were also keeping an eye on the Federal Reserve's plans on monetary policy. The central bank is expected to cut back on stimuli if the economic recovery stays on track in the next three months. In addition, it's also likely to stop its asset buying program through the first half of the next year. The economy-linked stock segments saw modest gains in Monday's session. Utility, healthcare and technology stocks were among the top gainers on the S&P 500 and seven segments of the index stayed in the green. Energy and consumer discretionary stocks were the laggards. Let's move on now to the newsmakers. Shares of Tesla fell 4.34% in the intraday trading after the US auto safety regulators launched a formal probe into the EV maker's autopilot feature after incidents of several vehicle crashes. The inspectors are expected to check around 765,000 vehicles manufactured since 2014. And stocks of miner BHP Group plunged 2.58% after the mining giant announced plans to sell its oil and gas business and focus only on the mining segment. Experts expect the deal could be one of the largest in the energy industry this year that may value its contract up to 15 billion US dollars. And the Wall Street Journal had reported that. Shares of music streaming services Tencent Music Entertainment Group dropped 8.88% and the video game developer Roblox Corporation dropped as well 3.98% ahead of their earnings results after the market close. And meanwhile, the UK-based aerospace company Ultra Electronics has agreed to a 3.6 billion US dollar buy offer from Cobham, owned by the US private equity firm Advent International. So this is how the US market performed. It is time for a short break, but after the break, we'll look at the stock markets in the European and the Asian sectors. So please stay tuned to Calcine TV. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all in our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV. Welcome back. This is Sage. You're watching Calpine TV live from Sydney and this is the Global Markets Roundup show. Let's now take a look at the European and Asian share markets performance. Investors generally shied away from risk on Monday as turmoil in Afghanistan, fresh concerns about an economic slowdown in China and the spreading coronavirus Delta variant put the brakes on last week's equity surge. And the MSCI World Equity Index, which tracks shares in 45 nations, fell 0.46%. A 10-day run of gains for European stocks came to a halt on Monday following a surprise slowdown in China's economic indicators, with commodity-linked stocks falling the most. And the Pan-European Stock 600 Index fell 0.5%, easing from a record level scaled last week. Let's move on now to the Asian markets, beginning with the Japanese shares who fell on Monday as concerns of slow economic growth due to the highly contagious Delta variant of the COVID-19 weighed 
on investor sentiment while market heavyweights Toyota Motors and Sony Group dropped due to a stronger yen. And the Nikkei share average closed 1.62% lower, marking its biggest drop since July 30th. The broader topic slid 1.61% in its sharpest drop as well since June 21st. Over to China now. Chinese blue chips slipped on Monday after disappointing economic data raised fresh concerns over the outlook for the world's second largest economy, but expectations of more policy support to bolster a wobbly recovery put a floor under the drop. And at the close, the blue chip CSI 300 index was down 0.1%. The CSI 300 industrial sub-index fell 1.11%. And the SSE resource and sub-index fell 2.83% on the faltering demand outlook. South Korean financial markets were closed on Monday for a public holiday. So let's now move over to the to a short break but after the break we'll take a look at the stock markets a little closer to home so please stay tuned tune in to get the latest information whether it's about market movements or the currency graph sectoral coverage or industry news we cover it all on our news segments be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV Thank you for joining us, Sage here from Kalkine TV in Sydney, and this is the Global Markets Roundup Show. And let's now take a look at the Australian share market's performance. The benchmark snapped a four-day winning streak to close 0.6% lower at 7,582.5 points on Monday. On Tuesday, 18 companies would be releasing their earnings reports, including the mining giant BHP, Real Estate Investment Trusts, Dexas and Charter Hall, energy company Santos and appliance manufacturer Brivel. And let's move on now to the bond deals and the dollar. Demand for the US Treasuries and dollar increased as investors searched for lower risk avenues amid the ongoing global uncertainty. The Treasury, Treasury yields fell as demand for the safe haven US bonds rose, with benchmark 10-year yields falling four basis points to 1.256%. And the yield curve between two and 10-year notes, two basis points down to 105 basis points. And the dollar rose 0.1% after falling to a one-week low on Friday. And next we'll see why the crude oil prices are falling as well. Crude oil prices inched lower after the reports that the OPEC and its allies were of the view the market may not require more oil compared to what they plan to release in the next few months. And the Brent crude finished lower 1.5% and West Texas Intermediate dipped by 1.7%. Energy stocks such as Woodside Petroleum and Santos could trade lower this coming session. And moving on now to see the rise in the gold prices. The safe haven sentiment helped the gold prices to rise on Tuesday. The spot gold rose 0.5% and US gold futures rose 0.6%. ASX-listed gold stocks such as St. Barbara and Newcrest Mining could trade higher on Tuesday. And lastly, let's now take a look at an update from the metals space. On Monday, the Chinese steel futures fell on slower than expected growth in the industrial output. Stainless steel futures on the Shanghai Bourse fell 1.2% and the benchmark iron ore futures rose 2.3%. Three-month copper on the London Metal Exchange fell 1.3%. And that's all for now. Thank you for your company on that report. Keep watching Calkine TV as we bring you the latest news and trending market updates live from Sydney. Sage signing off.